Good day everyone, this is Dude to Dude, along with Kami. Hello. So today we are looking at the Blade Rondo the Legendary Set. Ooh, pretty box. Yeah, it is a very pretty box. So this was being sold on Game Found. No words, hey, give us money and two years lips later you'll get your product. Oh, as that makes a very squeaky. Sorry for awkward noises there. So, first thing we have, that's a very nice game, Matt. Yes. Then the second thing we have is a, a very, very nice, nice game, game mat. mat. I like this one. It's blue. Yes. <sighs> so do I. Hence the fight. We're going to have to argue over that. Yeah. I actually have two different game mats without the um gameplay on the game field on it, just standard game mats based on. But they're getting shipped separately because Japan anime games, they make fantastic games. But they're um crowdfunded stuff. Little shaky. The uh, organization could be probably a little better is the main yeah. Main issue where things don't quite hit the, at the times they should. Yeah, or... <laughs> oh, we forgot to approve something, or... <laughs> yeah. We forgot to give you the update we said we want. <laughs> um, they've done better than others, but... Yes. Eh, they, minor. They, they actually delivered a game for one. Yeah, <laughs> and that's the thing. I, that's not a concern that they'll deliver. They may, again, make fantastic. I fully yes. believe they'll back everything. The reason they didn't send the two extra play mats right now is that would have delayed shipping the main, and I can't disagree with this. Yes, we're not calling out Japanime games for no for it's, not shipping games. That applies to others, yeah, which we will not name. Yeah, it's just a, hey... If you ever see them doing a crowdfunding on Kickstarter or GameFound, just realize it may take longer than initially said, but this came very, as you can see, nice and clean. I've heard some um, concerns with some of the boxes that have been shipped. I don't know. We'll see in a second. So... Anyway, we have the original Blade Rondo game, which we'll look at a little more in a minute. I like how none of these are actually wrapped on the inside. Yes. And these are all standalone slash expansions, depending on how you mm. want to look at it. So this is Lost Dream. So from my understanding is you can either play a one or two player game with any one of these sets. Or you can do a two-player with one person using one and one person using another. And interesting in-betweens. So we have Frost... Frost Veil. Thank you. Very fancy uh, calligraphy. I, I couldn't read Veil. I'm like, Deli. <laughs> <laughs> Upside down, I thought it said Deli, so uh, I, I can't say anything. <laughs> I'm going, oh, you, you get a free turkey sandwich with this one. <laughs> Night Theater. And we have Grim Garden. I do like the art. Yes, it's very nice art. The camera hates the arm foam. Yeah, oh, there we go. That Suddenly helped. cleared up. So, let's see here. We will... I'm using the camera because my angle makes it hard. So we have a metal, and this should be the night and day token. Yes. And that is actually metal. We have an art book. A very nice art book. I'm going to hand that to Kami for a minute. Yes. And then we have the special cards. So, carefully set things aside. And yes. just as a as a note, essentially, just to give a general idea of what the art book is, I'm not going to go into full detail, but the art book, whoop, sorry, just uh, before ahead. I can pull it aside, just uh, 
give a quick glimpse. It basically gives background story for the characters in this universe. Yes. So. Oh, and, and just a note, it has a copyright of 2022. This literally has just shipped. Yes. So, that's on the probably should have updated but minor um so we have the crushing claymore and these should all be the specialty promo cards let's see here uh promo cards we also have um this should be the breath and the foil promo cards so crushing claymore Illuminating. I cannot read that last word there. Illuminating etude. Thank I'm you. Pretty sure. And then yeah, black blade. Got that Sorry. a little better on the camera. Yes. Preserving diamond. And when we actually go to play this, we'll explain things like the little L there. We've been reading up the directions well ahead of time. Hastening Rondo and Moonlit Retail. Retail, I think. Re Thank you. So, so, yeah, this is not a new game. This is just a new form factor. So, this is. And Kindle. Yeah, in Kindle, I'm just checking. So we have two in Kindle. Okay, yeah, those are technically foil. You just have to hold them at a weird angle to get any of the shine, and mm. it's not much on those. We have two enamor foil on that. Shines a little better. So. In Quicken have one so that would be the five breath cards and now we have the foil variant of crushing claymore it's hard to there we go yes it, you can see that it's shiny but it does not give the same hollow effect as yeah. some illuminating etude thank you black blade yep Preserving Diamond. I'm not noticing any of the issues others have mentioned, so that's mm. good. Hastening Rondo. And finally... Moonlit Rutile, I believe. Yes. Or it could be Rutile, I'm not 100% yeah. sure. So, the six foil, the six of uh, a five breath, and then the six standard promo, and I set these aside move those and I will move that that actually opened very nicely yes yep they all open nicely hmm. so we're only going to be looking at the original blade rondo and again you can find the um five games as we were mentioning that makes up blade rondo online and through some game stores so we have the directions. So a decent sized book. Yes. Ah. The two um standard game mats that are game mats that come with it. Nice thick cardboard, which makes it easy for tracking your life, attack, defense, and voltage. Oh, the life counters. Just one second. Yay, glass beads. <laughs> hey, it's simple, it works. So these are D10s with a zero going up to a nine to go for the three and color coded as such. And then we have the game itself. I'm just checking something for later. I'll probably be taking out this insert. Because we have, um, you want to grab one of those real quick? Yeah. Sleeves? Yeah. 
because we're actually going to be slaving the cards because yeah this is one of those going ah this should be a fun little game I it's not getting expanded any and would like to try to keep it yes it's a rarity I you never see me sleeve my cards otherwise but at the backs. So that separates yeah. the different types. On the note of not sleeving, we do have binders of some cards, but Oh yeah, that's that's a different story. Yeah. So the non foil variant of the um five breath cards in Quicken, Enamor, and in Kindle. of using the back of the card stuff make life easier <laughs> so these are first blade okay these are our main characters I believe I believe those are hold on as I grab the manual real quick to help us uh... oh yeah no these are the main characters these would be the, the abilities cards, I believe or, yeah and we'll be going more into these later. Just doing a very quick. Yeah, we'll go into these more when we actually play the game. Yes. Of course, we're going to be doing a um, test run of it first. So that we can hopefully make fewer because we're definitely not going to make no mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> mistakes are how we learn. Yes. And that's the thing. The first time you play a game, that's always going to be the hardest variant. Because you're still learning. Yes. I will say the cards are very nice. I was handing one to you real quick. Yeah. If you're feeling, feel the quality. Yes. They feel like they're on good cardstock. Very nice cardstock. Very, um nice gloss. I have seen Very none. Very smooth. Yeah. The box we got was undamaged, I think. As far yeah. as I could tell, that was undamaged. We appear to have been fortunate. Oh. There, there's a little... Ding. Not enough to all go against the styrofoam, that's for sure. No. Um, none of the cards have weird, um, like, scratches on them that I've seen. I mean, we still haven't opened these, and yeah. those will be another day entirely. But yeah, I'm just... We're so far not seeing any of the issues that folks have run into, which is not to say that folks, you know... And mind you... It, misprints happen. We're, we're talking about a small handful of people who have mentioned having issues with um, some of the shipping on um, the Game Found forum. I mean, as it is, they sent out the um, shipping receipt for this game after I had already had it for a few days. <laughs> Actually, that's not the first time that's happened with a Game Found um, thing that I've done. Yeah, but hence another reason why I'm highlighting more of the it seems more the organizational end of things rather than the actual fulfillment yes. end of things. But yeah, all in all, I can say everything looks very nice. I'm definitely looking forward to playing this. Um, we'll definitely be um, doing the full two-player, not just the... Um, not the one-player modification, which they yeah. do go into in the back of the book here. Yeah. Here we are. There it is. That's the setting up a solo game. Yeah. And we'll learn how to do that too and yes. Such. But for now, we need to a sleeve all these cards and b we need to do some test plays. Yes. Which actually is one of the minor things we're going to highlight now because this will not be shown. There is a first battle they recommend. 
Yes. Where you have a very um, specific setup. This is how me and Kami are going to be learning the game initially. And then we'll be doing the um, standard match later on when we actually go to film it. Which will hopefully be, if not the next video, like um, the following week. In reality, we're planning to do that tomorrow. <laughs> yes, but we do record these ahead of time. Because, eh, fun of my um, noted nerve issue, I don't know when I'll be able to speak sometimes. Um, thankfully, that has not been the issue as badly, but... You never know. Um, we still like to have some yeah. flex room. So, even though we may record something on the same day, it would go up on Monday and Wednesday or Friday. Since those are the three days I like to upload. Mm -hmm. Since I like doing weird stuff on the weekend. <laughs> so. And yes, please, come check out the streams that I've been doing on the weekend. Uh, the, usually it's a Sunday stream, although there's been a you um <clears throat> secret saturday they're not secret if you tell people about them well they're labeled as that <laughs> i know <laughs> and i haven't been i know my point is that you're now saying it <laughs> yeah yeah um so those can happen and that's literally me just testing some stuff yes so anyway off of that tangent we want to thank you for joining us today yes. as we take our first look at this and Again, we have four more to look at and play through at another time, but we'll definitely get to that later. So, anyway, thank you, and take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.